Hi, in this video we are going to look at solar panels that provide the most value for your money in 2020. Whenever we are looking to buy solar panels, there are various numbers that we come across. The price per watt for many is the fundamental metric, but there are other parameters too, such as the efficiency, warranty period, thermal coefficient, and degradation. In this video, we have compiled a list of top 12 panels that score high overall, that is, after all the factors that we have named have been taken into account. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire people towards a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe today to get the updates of all our latest videos. As you are aware, there are hundreds of solar panels in the market. To narrow them down in a list of top 5, 10 or 12, therefore, is an artist's task. So there was a set criteria that the solar panels had to meet to be selected for this list. For example, all the panels in the list were over 340 watts because that is where you get the most value. Similarly, all the panels had a 25 year linear output guarantee. What this means is that the panels will degrade gradually over time rather than show a sudden drop in performance after a few years. It should be understood that some panels degrade more than the others and that has been taken into account. Finally, the last criterion is that all the considered panels had a warranty period of 10 years or more. So the panels that make the cut are the ones that will make you the most money during their operational life and would cost you the least to maintain. They're not necessarily the ones that will cost you less upfront. Similarly, the only advantage of high efficiency is that the panels will cover a smaller area for a particular amount of system capacity. It does not play a part in payback period. The details of methodology used to rank them will be revealed later. The list is as follows. The number one panel in 2020 is the Panasonic VBHN340S which is a 340 watt monocrystalline panel. Although it is the second most expensive panel in our list, it takes the cake when it comes to degradation. Its output only reduces to 86.2% of its original value in 25 years. It also by far has the lowest thermal coefficient meaning with higher ambient temperature, its performance will degrade the lowest compared to all other panels. So it's best for hot climates too. At number 2, we have the LG 395N2T by LG. It is slightly higher in price, but its main advantage comes from the fact that it is a bifacial solar panel that can produce not just 395 watts as rated, but can go up to 514 watts depending upon the bifacial gain. Bear in mind, if you want extra power, you cannot install it flush against the inclined roof. This panel produces the most power when it's placed on a flat surface using a mounting frame as we see in a solar farm and has access to light on its back side. But even without the bifacial gain, the LG 395 and 2T scores very high in low degradation, low thermal coefficient and high warranty period. At number 3, we have a surprise entry that has given the industry giants like Panasonic and LG a run for their money. It is the SIL380 NT by Silfab. Although relatively unknown, Silfab's mentioned panel is extremely high quality and is lower in price compared to both LG and Panasonic. It has to be noted here that the top 3 mentioned panels, that is Panasonic, LG and Silfab, come with a warranty period of 25 years. This also sets them apart from the rest of the panels in the market whose warranty period vary between 10 and 15 years. At number 4 is the Q-Cell panel, the G8 Duo 345 by Hanwha, which has a very respectable value of thermal coefficient of minus 0.35% per degree that is matched only by Jinko Solar's Cheetah 400 panel and is only surprised by the Panasonic 340 watt panel. You can look at the list for top 12 here. A couple of notable mentions are the CS3W4110P by Canadian Solar. It has the lowest price per watt but is 8 on the overall list. The second panel worthy of mention is another surprise entry. It is the AC385MH by Exitec. Although this company is relatively unknown outside of the US, the panel scores very high and beats major players like Sharp, Trina and J Solar in terms of overall performance based on specs. To give you an idea of why degradation was considered an important factor in our rating, just consider the following example. Most of the panels in the list towards the end of their life, that is after 25 years, produce only 80% of the power compared to their output at the beginning of life. 
A 4 kilowatt system therefore would give you an output of only 3200 watts or 3.2 kilowatts towards the end of its life. Whereas the Panasonic panel, which is at the top of our list, will give you 3450 watts. This is because the Panasonic panel only degrades to 86.2% of its original output after 25 years. And that 250 watt extra power translates to at least 1.2 extra unit of electricity per day in a 4 kilowatt system. The methodology used to rate the panels involved gathering data for the parameters of thermal coefficient, degradation, warranty time, cost per watt, and efficiency. These factors were then normalized using the maximum and minimum values from the data so as to rank the panels against each other. Each of the normalized factor was then added to find the best panel overall. So I hope this list gives you some idea on what to buy when you are shopping for panels. It has to be mentioned though that the solar panels are a long-term investment. So paying a little extra upfront for higher quality and lower degradation makes perfect economical sense. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.